Hey guys. Um, I am back home in Nova Scotia. Um, I came here almost two weeks ago now. Um, I just got back from Cuba a couple days ago. I went there with my friends and my sister and it was a great time. Um, went to four and a half star resort in Cuba and uh, met lots of really cool people but I drank way too much. Um, actually it's probably it's gonna be a week tomorrow that I get home and I still feel like I'm recovering. Um, I'm not really used to drinking as excessively as I was when I was there. I mean we get up and uh, eat breakfast and by 8 o'clock we were in the pool and by 9 o'clock we had very large amounts of alcohol in our hands. I mean, you have a swim up bar, it's kind of like you don't even need to move, you just float over and there's booze. And it's all inclusive, so you don't really have to worry about it. So, uh, yeah, you end up drinking a lot more than you plan on. Um, anyways, uh, all my videos I'm realizing are very uh, random. I don't really have. Uh, flow of what I talk about it's just kind of me ranting and I guess I'll just continue with the randomness and uh, I realized I haven't really s talked about uh, love or heartbreak or anything and I was just thinking last night when I was in bed like I feel like uh, love ultimately changes you as a person and not always for the best and I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with me, but this is just my opinion and um, the way I feel. I've been altered from love and relationships and girls. Girls are crazy and I love them. Um, I feel like uh, the first time you fall in love, your heart is completely open and uh, you're willing to give them all of you because it's the first time you feel that intense connection, I mean, besides your parents, it's a completely different kind of love, and you allow yourself to fall a lot quicker than you do, say, three or four heartbreaks down the road. Um, like my first girlfriend, it was so easy, it was just, I trusted her, I trusted my feelings, I trusted her feelings, um, I truly believed that we were going to be together forever, and I mean, it, 16, 17, 18, that, I mean, the chances of that really being true are very slim. Um, and then, I don't know, I've, I've always been very naive and everyone kind of knows me that way. Um, I just believe that everyone is good. And I know in the back of my mind that's not true, but I like to think that everyone is good before they give me a reason to believe that they're not. And that has gotten me into some pretty awful situations. Um, some pretty awful heartbreak. Um, second, third, fourth girlfriends even, there wasn't that much of a change within me. I still opened up pretty pretty easily. Um, obviously not as much as with my first girlfriend, but I mean there really wasn't that much of a change and I just kind of thought, okay, well maybe I'm one of the lucky ones. Maybe I'm just always going to give that the next person the full chance that they deserve with me. Um, but I've realized in the past uh, year and a half, two years, that um, there actually has been some major changes within me. Um, I'm not the same, like, loving, trusting person that I was. And it's kind of, I'm really upset about it. I kind of thought that I was always going to be like that. And I guess it's just part of growing up and becoming wiser and... Um, all that, but at the same time, like, I'm disappointed. Uh, it sucks because I have a really hard time now trusting anyone and opening up and I find myself, no matter who comes into my life, no matter how amazing they are and how much they genuinely care for me, I have a really hard time uh, believing that and allowing myself to go any further in a certain point with them and it's just, it's so frustrating because it's like a push and pull inside my head. And I'm sure there's going to be other people out there that think like this. It's like all the people in your past who have fucked you over have ultimately fucked you and 
say, the person that you're meant to be with over. Because it's just so much effort, so much more work to allow your heart to care. It's just like every single heartbreak is adding bricks to a wall that is building around you and your heart. And then it's just a constant battle between your heart and your mind. And there really shouldn't be that. I mean, it sucks. And I think also it has to do with just not being able to let go of the past. Yeah, you can move on and be over the person, but you don't let go of what they did to you. They don't, you don't let go of the relationship or um, what happened. You forgive, you don't forget. And that's kind of the shitty thing. Um, I don't know, like... I thought that, I don't know, like... Last year, like, I went to Labrador or whatever. You guys know that. Um, ultimately, the whole reason that I did that was because I was going through such an intense heartbreak. Um, and I think, well, that definitely had a major effect on me. Probably the worst out of every single heartbreak that I've had. It just completely, like, broke me in two. Um, and I went in isolation thinking that... Uh, I'd be able to let go and let go of what she did and what she didn't do and the way things ended and I yes like it, it helped a lot it helped me grow and um, I became more independent because of it and like I'm beyond over her but like the way things ended and everything I'm having a hard time with that and it's really like it's definitely affecting my life and me going further with any sort of relationship, um, yeah, I don't know, like, it's, heartbreak is a funny thing, it, um, it does, it changes you, because I feel changed, and although my isolation and my trip to Labrador, and, you know, doing everything for me, which is what you're, you should do, you, like, you need to cut the person off, you need to do your own thing, blah blah blah, and I did all that, I did all the right things, and I did, I got over her, I'm completely over her, um, but the amount of walls that I have built up right now is honestly insane, and I'm trying my hardest just to like knock them down, and uh, I'm just really hoping that I'm able to do that. Um, usually it's me um, trying to help others with these videos, but I guess uh, this is kind of me just trying to help myself by talking about it and getting it all out, and maybe someone else can relate and uh, message me or something. Um, I don't know, getting over someone, honestly that's the easy, the easy part, it's getting over uh, all the other junk. It's like knocking down your walls and it took so many years for this wall to be built up, and now I just feel like it's taking over my entire... Like, I don't even feel like I have a heart anymore. It's like... I used to be the most loving, caring person, and I would open my arms to anyone that I thought deserved my heart, and now it's like... I'm the complete opposite. All I do is push people away. That's the last thing I want to do. I mean, I'm 25, and honestly, what I want is, like, I want to get married. I want to have a child. I want to have a house. I want to, like, I want to raise a family. I want all of that stuff, and I'm getting to that age. I mean, the next five years, I'd like to do that. But in order for me to be able to do that, I need to be able to actually put my foot into a relationship and stick with it. And uh, give myself and that person a chance I guess to see who I am, who I really am, because honestly, in the there's only pieces of me, or my heart I should say, that people get to see now, when before it was just all out in the open. Um, and I don't know, I'm doing like a lot of uh, self-help, like I'm reading different books and looking stuff up online and research, and it sounds so lame, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to like knock these walls down. And like, okay, yeah, the first year, whatever, uh, being on your own and doing your own thing, that's great, and you have to do that, and I've done that, and now I'm ready for like, you know, the next step. Like, I'm ready to be in a relationship and actually be in a relationship. Um, 
all of me, not just because I I'm not really there. I'm not all there when I'm with someone. It's like it's really hard and confusing. Maybe someone watching this will understand what I'm trying to say. Um, it makes sense in my head. Uh, basically, I just I'm trying really hard to knock down these walls and um, open up my heart so that I'm able to actually be successful in a relationship like I have been in the past. Um, yeah, so that was just like a huge rant, and that's just what I've been thinking. Um, I don't know, I just think that it's scary. As much as I want to step into something else, it's fucking terrifying. Um, because I see how much that I've changed, and how much my heart and my mind and everything, my views, my morals, everything have been altered by all these girls that have stepped into my life and walked out and slammed doors and completely just fucking punched me in the face. Um, and the thought of knocking down these walls so I can do it all over again, it's kind of stupid and scary and whatever, I want to do it. I guess I'm willing to do it. If I can get to that point. I'm getting all flushed and everything because I'm getting frustrated with my own self. I can't even stand myself. It's no wonder that nothing works. Um, yeah, so that was just a huge rant. Um, I'm going to stop now. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you've been here, if you've gotten over it, if you're going through it, whatever, just message me. Um, it'd be really nice to know someone else feels as fucking crazy as I do. Um, I hope you all have a good Easter, if you celebrate that. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll make another video soon. I'm home and doing fuck all, so there's a good chance. Anyways, see you guys.